awesome. What's going on, fellow LEGO people? It's Aaron. Why don't we do another video? What do you say? Today, let's talk about some Squid Game minifigures that I found. Um, these are obviously boot LEGO. Uh, they're not official LEGO licensed product. So if you've been living under a rock for the last year, you may not know that Squid Game is a Netflix show. And beware, there are some minor spoilers coming up. So if you don't want to be spoiled, now's the time to hit pause and please check out one of my other videos. So when I bought these, I bought them from an online seller that sells everything from A to Z. I'm not going to give you the website, but I'm sure you can figure out which one it is. They came in this bag, and I was quite shocked at the quality. I didn't really know what to expect. I went in with very low expectations. They each came in their own little baggie you can see here. And I was shocked. Like, if I didn't know better, I would have sworn these could have been made by LEGO themselves. They are printed on both sides. You get accessories, two accessories per figure. Each minifigure comes with an extra hand for some reason. I thought that was strange, but overall, I'm really surprised and happy at the level of detail. Let's go through them. Here's player one. He's got a chooser, a red or green chooser, and a little cookie. Then you've got player 67. She's got two different cookies. These are all printed one by one round tiles as well. Player 218 has his business card and a cookie. And he's also got an alternate face. He's one of the few minifigures here with alternate faces on their minifigure head. Our hero, player 456, has the business card and the cookie, and here you can see his alternate face as well. Now, let's get to... Oh, I forgot. He's got a change of hair color, like you see in the final episode. Okay, on to the bad guys. Big boss man. He's got a custom printed mask and a handgun and a timer. He also comes with a hood, so you can take that mask off and reveal his face. Uh, the bad guys, you get one of each class. You get a square face, a triangle face, and a circle face. They all have a handgun and a machine gun. They have a hoodie, hood, I don't know how else to say that, and like a mask, so their faces are printed. Um, here's everybody from the back. As you can see, the backs are printed as well for our good guys and our bad guys. Very, very surprised at the level of detail. These look great. So here's the minifigure faces with the hoods, and then here they are with their actual masks on. Now these masks are printed. Check out this detail. This is a zoom in of how pockmarked the masks are, just like they are in the show. Very cool. So I spent like 30 bucks on these, and you know what? Totally worth it. My expectations were very low, and I was very, very surprised and happy with how these turned out. They're gonna look great on my shelf. That's all I bought them for, was just to put on my shelf. I used some bootlego parts here to make a stand. This is their stand that will be on my shelf. And I found this business card. It's got a number on the back. I think I'm gonna call it. I mean, what's the worst that could happen, right? <laughs> so anyway, that was today. Short and sweet. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. And I encourage you to keep on building.